everybody. As we all know, Rome wasn't built in a day, and, you know, it's kind of, well, you know what I'm trying to say. What we're going to do is, yeah, I know I need to take a dimmer switch and stuff out, and I know this is a, looks like a real hack job. <laughs> it really does. But we're going to get in here, and we're just going to get some of this bad metal out, and this is just kind of my idea. This line is not something I'm really going to follow. But it's just kind of to give you an idea of what I'm going to cut out to start with to see what I can find under it, basically. I'm going to cut this out. You know, this old metal here, it's, this this crap's got to go. You know, it's just it's rotten. And um, I'm not going to go all the way to the top on this one. I'm not going to go as far as I did on that one. We're not going that high. Because, hell, we got good metal up here. This is solid as a rock. You know, pretty much from that indentation line right there. It goes a little above it, but we're going to go as far up behind them pedals as we can physically cut. Cut out with the cutoff wheel, which I think we can do pretty good. And we're going to come down around that gas pedal because that's solid. I mean, pretty much more I draw my line is solid. There ain't even no rust on it. It's dirt on it up above there. That'll wipe. It's hard to get in here, but see, that's uh, that's dirt up there. That's not even, um, not even rust. And the bottom side of the panels look good, as you've seen from the other side. But anyway, we're going to cut some of this out, and uh, we're going to go from there and see what see what we come up with. We're going to get some of it out of the way. This right here is my worst part of the project I dread. This, you know, putting this back in is not that big of a deal. But what I dread is getting this line right, is getting it to fall back into the floor pan like it's supposed to. And I vaguely have a vague, vague, vague idea of how it's actually supposed to be because it's going on both sides. Let's do a little cutting and see what we wind up with. Well, everybody, I got one of these little flimsy dust masks on my face, so anyway, just try to try to keep meeting as much rust as possible. But anyway, we're going to go over here and we're going to do some little cutting. I'll give you a little live cutting action here. Like I said, we're just doing a little trimming up. We're not trying to necessarily do it right yet. We're just getting some crap out of the way. Got my little blower running to blow the the rust and the cutting wheel dust and all that good crap blow it out of my face keep it blowing so you're just going to have to listen to that but heck ain't like a grinder's quiet anyway I hadn't got the little, eye, the little air grinder out yet the little cutoff wheel but using a uh, little electricity and using uh, just the regular grinder with a cutoff wheel um, it's a little bit easier sometimes it just really is I don't I have a humongous air compressor, so I mean, my air compressor works fine for what I do, but for just hacking holes, nah, we're gonna use electricity. But we're gonna get down in here and just do some cutting. And you can just set along and go along for the ride and watch. And then we're gonna get in there with the air chisel and we're gonna get some of the pieces off where they hook the rocker panel and all that good bunch of happy crap and see what we can come up with. So sit back and watch.
Mail Chunka Flowboard. checked yet but as you can tell some of this floor pan is not as bad a shape as it looks but look at the top side it's it is what it is and uh, another thing I've done here that I don't suggest you do is I pulled out my cutoff wheel and I started cutting a hole yep I sure did I just started hacking a hole in here I didn't look under the truck to see if anything was in the way. Nope, sure did. But I know where this stuff is. I know these trucks pretty well. Ain't gonna cut through anything. The only thing you gotta worry about is the emergency brake cable, which runs right here. When you get up in here, yeah, you can cut it. So that's why, I, well, I'll show you how I cut that. You got this cab support, the floor support. You've actually gotta cut it up, cut it down. You gotta trim it out of there in pieces. Use air chisel, things to that nature. Keep them cutting through what's under that. But we've made a good, uh, good fair bit of pro process or uh, progress here. We've got a hole. I can tell you right now, that right there, right now looks better than what it did before it started. So don't tell me it didn't. But <clears throat> you yourself can do this in your own garage, your own driveway, whatever. All you really need to do this project is. Replacement floor panels. You've seen those. A grinder. Most of you own a grinder. You need a cutoff wheel, some grinding discs. You need some rust converter products from CRC, which I'll show you later when I get to that point. And you need a sandblaster. You don't really have to have a sandblaster. You can use the uh, rust converter. It's a real good product. It works real well. But if you sandblast off what you can and then coat it with the rust converter, you've kind of got a, a double insurance policy. We do not want this floor to rust back out of this truck. This is not an option. We do not want this to happen again. Or at least not in my lifetime. Hopefully by the time this truck needs floors again, it'll be somebody else's problem. And the rate things are going, there's nobody to hand it down to in the family, so, you know, it'll, uh, I guess, be in a junkyard somewhere in another 30 years. 30, 40 years, but that's how it goes. It's facts of life. But another thing a lot of people overlook when they've got this out, when you got the floor pan out, you have extreme accessibility to all your four-wheel drive linkage for your shifter, every bit of it. You're all right at it. You've got access to that. You've got access, great access to your front drive shaft and U-joints. You've got access, you've got access enough for the floorboard out of this truck to actually replace, like say, a front seal and transfer case. With, I mean, do it from the top. Do it easy. All your shifter linkage for your autom or automatic transmission, you can get to all that. There's lots of things, including the top of this frame rail, that you can get to. While you've got this out, don't just ignore the top edge of this frame rail and crap. You want to take a wire brush, bring her down, put a rust converter on it. You want to protect that frame because you can't get to it. Another thing that you cannot do, that a lot of people don't realize, if you go to put this floor pan back in, you think, okay, I'll put the floor pan in and I'll undercoat it. You've got a problem there. You can't undercoat the bottom of the floor pan very well above this blasted frame rail, okay? You can't. So really what you probably want to do is use the rust converter. I wouldn't suggest using the undercoat because you are going to be welding. The undercoat is tarry and rubbery and it can, you know, cause you problems. It can cause a fire. You don't want to do that, but at least spray the bottom edge of the pan where it goes in. Lay it down in that rust converter. You can get undercoat up under it, but not, you might miss a spot. Let me put it that way. So you need to cover it, just that strip anyway. And zinc weld through primer, things to that nature you need to use, but I'll, I'll show you more of that later. But I'm going to cut the camera off. I've rambled on enough, and I'm going to continue trimming here. I'm going to get my air chisel out, my little die grinder, and I'm going to start getting into it. But once I get into it, I'll show you some more. Uh-oh. 
we got one big priority mailbox. Never seen one of these before. Regional rate box C. Never heard of it. Well, anyway, this came from, yep, that would be the real gym guy. Yep, I'll put you a linky down below. Anyway, yep, anyway, we're going to butcher knife this. And I kind of know what's in here somewhat. Get the zoom out there. So I need to be careful. And I don't want to cut too much. And I know me and Mr. Pod are in a fight, so there is no there is no tripod for this adventure. We are just being very gentle and basically scoring the tape and not really cutting anything. We're working on it here. Kins can bear with me. Kins might want to see what's in here. But anyway, trying to watch the camera and watch what I'm cutting all at the same time. All I can say is somebody taped it up good. But taping it up good ah, is always a good thing. All right, we're in. Put down the butcher knife and again, Sue, and get in here and see what we find. See what we found. We have an apple lighting. What we got? Hmm. Interesting. I've never seen a quite seen a backup light quite like that. Hmm. Mater will have a. We'll have them on Mater somewhere. I'm not real sure where or how, but yeah, those could be cool. I'm assuming they're two of the same thing. Let's see. What we got? Come here. Come here, darn you. Yep, do the same thing. Like a odd module. Like I said, I've never seen, never really seen made like that before. It's kind of neat though. It's all sealed in. So we will see where those lined up. What else in here? We got newspaper. Let's throw that in the floor for now. Ah, found something heavy. Throw the newspaper out. What have we got here? We've got something else in here. I believe this might have been what I heard a mixing ball rattling in. Yep. Let's see what this is. Huh. Never used any of that before. Red grease. I think that's what they spray down in rocker panels and stuff up north. He is in Pennsylvania. I think that's the red grease you see everybody spraying in stuff. Hmm. Have to give that a give that a try and see what it does. Or newspaper. Let's see. Toss that down. You know, that's something I forgot to send you, and I should have sent you a tag. I should have sent you a Tennessee tag. Didn't think a thing about it. And there we go. There is his username on the YouTube TVs right there. The real gym guy. But anyway, I should have sent you a tag, and we'll, I'll send you a tag at some point. I'll just have to find another one. Let's see what we got in here heavy. That's what we got. We have, aha, exhaust hangers. Those will come in handy. I gotta put the tailpipes back on my Ford. And I cut mine to get them off, so. Those right there are actually the ones you can bolt back on. Them look pretty close to be like, actual like some of the original ones. Those will, those will work out. I'm gonna have to buy some anyhow. And here, the big enchilada. Yep. Looks like uh, somebody at Napa had a high dollar, high dollar. But this is, yeah, if I can get it out of here. But anyway, let me, uh, ah, oh, fooey, you just want to sit on the counter for a minute. It'll be all right. It ain't like, uh, ain't like you ain't ever seen top of the stove before. I can't get it out of the box. You're talking about just fitting in the box. It goes in easier than it comes out, that's for sure. But anyway, get it open a little bit here. But anyway, it should be a truck cover. And that looks like a truck cover to me. That's one of them that's supposed to, I'm pretty sure, repel uh, water and all that good stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but truck cover is better than no truck cover and it's supposed to fit the old blue Ford. Let's see if it does here. It's supposed to. 
that's what he said Ford full size short bed pickup long bed pickup mine's a short bed and this one says long bed that ain't no big deal be a little extra tuck it under to cover it up completely not a big deal whatsoever but yeah it'll fit it'll fit and I appreciate it because as soon as I get some paint on it it needs to be covered up but I will have to get me some of tie straps to go across and across because the one keeps blowing off my little blue car all right now that we're out of the mail well we ain't completely done yet I gotta say thank you again I really do appreciate that but um now that we're out of mail I'm gonna show you this part number you see that part number 51794 Wix filters Chevrolet V8 yeah big block small block don't matter it's one hell of an oil filter ain't it that one will not bypass that is a guaranteed filter filter yeah there's one big ass oil filter I finally found these again they used to be Delco's um, I forget the part number but they quit making the big big oil filters and the only thing you get is a little short AC Delco's for a small block or big block Chevrolet they're actually tiny this is supposed to be a two quart filter according to their book this is a two quart filter I don't know about you all but I don't know so much about that being a two quart filter I mean in relation you all know how big a, the big stove eye is on the stove it's literally the width of the stove eye so you know I don't know it must be a two quart filter but anyway that's a guaranteed non bypass filter that's part number unless you've got exhaust running underneath it you know most vehicles this should fit and you know it's just extra oil capacity if nothing else but anyway back to our regular scheduled uh, video here that I cut in the middle of <laughs> see y'all <laughs> guess what I just found yep I was picking up all the paper and stuff out of the floor somehow yep there was a letter in here and I missed it anyway you can pause and read if you want to but basically he's just telling me what's in the box this that and the other and he's telling me about the red grease and he says that he loves that where's that I love that shit he says but anyway Here's his username once again, the real gym guy. He's a pretty good fella. Y'all need to go over and uh, subscribe to him and uh, kick his ass and make him make some videos or something. Uh, yeah, he let a, let a two-legged deer run him off of YouTube once before. And I told him I was going to kill him if he didn't make some videos. So he started. Y'all need to ride his ass. He used to make several videos. He's got uh, some pretty neat stuff over there. Yeah, you need to go over and look. At, you need to go over and just look. Yeah, I know he deleted some of the older videos and stuff, and he's going to start fresh, but he's got a few interesting toys, shall I say. But anyway, now we can get back to the regular scheduled video. See ya.